parents named her Stacy, and now she's famous. She's the famous Stacy. Welcome to our very humble little kitchen here in France. It's pretty simple. Cougar somehow, he's really into this Ratatouille movie and he somehow talked me into buying him a French cookbook at the Central Commercial. So uh, then he decided, after I told him that he could get it but I didn't know what it said, he decided he wanted to make real French chocolate crepes. Sunday afternoon, Chad and I spent the entire afternoon uh, translating the recipe. And I'm very familiar with how American recipes go with cups and teaspoons, but there aren't really any exact measurements. They're just kind of, well, you'll see. Okay, first on the recipe is de oeufs, which is two eggs. One-handed. You impressed? Okay, next on our recipe is un and un quatre de ver a mutar de la de le, which is one and one fourth mustard glass of milk. Of milk. Well, we I knew it. We don't know what a mustard glass is, so we're just going to use a regular glass. We're going to use one, and then we're going to do a fourth glasses of milk. Then stir it. Okay, next we're going to need one gross glace de sirk, which is one big large spoonful of sugar. Yes. Thank you. Merci. Three, let's see, let's do it in French. Trois noix de beau, which is butter, butter. Three knobs, literally three knobs of butter. Um, so we are instead going to do something like three tablespoons of is that the butter. butter? But this is really, and it has to be totally melted. So three tablespoons of melted butter. Now we're going to need, we need flour, which is farine. Uh, we need one and one fourth mustard glasses. So can you pour in our one glass that we have? Be slowly, a little bit at a time. We gotta put in a, a pince de sel, a pinch of salt. Because I had it in my hand. A pinch of salt. Okay, now we have to let it sit for one hour. That's 60 minutes. Okay, hopefully, this is a good one. Consistency just right. Okay, the, the goal is to try and cook it just enough to where it doesn't end up brown. You don't want it to be still dough, but you don't want it to be brown either. And it's really, you know it's kind of done when it starts looking dry on top. Ah. You 
take a nice teaspoon of Nutella, the, what the French believe is chocolate, and spread it all over. Try and not get chocolate on my camera. Once that's spread all over, you simply roll the crepe, and voila! Bon appétit!